Welcome to my clubhouse. My name is Sally Cologne, and it is our last week of shooting. And I'm so excited for my guest today because she is an incredible woman. It's Female Friday, by the way. She is the managing director at Soaring Academy in Los Angeles. Please help me welcome Miss Julie Bennett. And we have a little audience today, so I'm excited. Hi, Julie. Hi, Sally. Are you excited to be I here? I am excited to be here. It's fun to see your studio in person. Thank you. Yes, and I you know, I've been it. talking about the show for so long with you, and here you are now I on know. the couch. We did it. Is it wild and crazy? Yeah, it's a little different than how it looks. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's good. comfy and cozy. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. So I always like to start by asking my guest, who is Julie Bennett? Um, who's Julie Bennett? Well, I'm a work in progress. I like that answer. Yeah, no, honestly. And that's yeah. part of what flying, you know, the whole thing about the Soaring Academy did for me. So if you had asked me that a year ago, I probably yeah. would have given you a different answer. Or really? five years ago, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um, it's, uh, that's, that's my answer. I'm, I'm, I'm a work in progress. I, I feel like we all are. Yeah, and, and, and <laughs> yeah. I am discovering that every mm -hmm. day. You know, every so, day is a new day. Every day is a new day. Well, let yeah. me say something before we get into the business yeah. side yeah. of things. You know, you and I, we get together every Wednesday. We have our girl time. Mm -hmm. We go to Thermal Horizons to have our yoga, our and then yoga, we go and we have our, our breakfast, and, yeah. our tea, and and we have girl conversation, girl right. talk. And I have to say, and you and I met through my friend Aline originally, mm -hmm. and then through Heather, our yep. Zumba teacher. So we do Zumba, we do yoga, and we yep. do jewelry together. Yep. <laughs> And we met before yeah. the pandemic. Remember that? Like, at the jewelry store, and I, right? And I meant to tell you this. At the jewelry store, okay, and I don't me. know if you remember this, we were going to go dancing. Aline, do you remember? We to were, the salsa place. We, yes. Oh, You remember gosh, that? You, yes. you and Aline were going out dancing, yes. and you guys invited me, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go have some dancing friends. Yes. Do you and you know what's that? so, I do remember <clears throat> that, and you know what's so funny? That I think you and I have so much in common because we both love to dance. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us are professionals. Like no. JLo's not on a phone calling no. us saying, come dance for me, right? But we love dancing. We're enthusiasts. And we're enthusiasts. Yes. That's a good word. So we started doing Zumba wanna together. Wanna be professional. Wanna <laughs> <laughs> or want to be professional. There's so many things I want to uh, places I want to go with you, but let's start with you were a restaurateur before mm -hmm. Soaring Academy. We'll just talk a little bit about that because your space where you were with your restaurant is now Craig's, which is one of my favorite restaurants in West right. Hollywood. So how did you become a restaurateur with your incredible husband, Chris? It was my husband, Chris, my sister, Paula, my brother, oh. Robert. Yeah, we were family business. So. Okay. We opened actually in 1990 out in Palm Desert. So we were in the business for 20 years by the time Incredible. we actually ended mm -hmm. in West Hollywood. Um, that's a whole other story, but um, got into it through just our mutual bonding over food and, mm -hmm. and wanting to create fun times for people. I'm sure you have so, plenty of stories. Oh, we Do have you want stories. to share that story that you were telling me about earlier? Mm -hmm. About so, Oprah? <laughs> Oh, geez. Okay. So what we were, I was saying to you for your audience is when I came in here today was we actually said no to, for Oprah. Quincy Jones called one night. He was a customer. He liked our barbecued ribs. Chris was yeah. famous for the ribs. Mm -hmm. And he said, I've got Oprah with me. Can I get a table? And we, we didn't have a table. And my sister Paula said, we're not saying no to Oprah. We're going to make a table. We <laughs> we'll gotta, create a table in the kitchen. We're going to go out back and, and you know, we'll find wood. We'll make a table. But yeah. it, we couldn't do it. So they ended we up getting it, it to go. Not many people yeah. can say they said no to Oprah. I know. <laughs> I know. So let's fast forward now. So when you and I met and you were talking about this soaring academy and like gliding in the air and 10,000 feet and, you know, having a, a, an airplane tow you up. I, in my mind, when you were saying it, I was like, what in the world is that? Like, yeah. I couldn't even imagine that one day I would be doing it. So tell me how that all came about. So that's really due to my husband, Chris. Mm -hmm. He had been a pilot since he was in his early 20s in the East Coast. And this is an interesting lesson for people. Mm -hmm. Don't ever give up your hobbies or what you're mm -hmm. passionate about. Because even while he was a chef and loved the restaurant business and we had great times, he was a pilot. So, wow. you know, cut to all these years later and it's now his career. So you married a chef and pilot. And he's an engineer, that, too. Listen, the, oh, do there's you have more. any brothers? Do you have brothers, Chris? <laughs> No, and there's more. Well, he's an engineer, and wow. the type of engineer that he is, he can, well, he he's, has a degree in ceramic, ceramic engineering, but the guy can fix anything. He Dang. can build anything, fix anything, do anything. Really what it is is he never says, 
that can't be done. Mm. And so in the restaurant business, you know, with creating the kitchen or yeah. whatever, you know, needed to be facilitated, it was always, we'll make it. it happen, we'll yeah. make it work. So in aviation, when things break down or there's, you know, there's issues, his mindset goes right to, we got to find a way mm -hmm. because that's what engineers do. Right. And I feel like you're kind of that way a little bit too, though. I will say, okay. I, he, he would, pro Chris would probably say, I'm a little bit of an engineer. Yeah. He, he said he actually told it to me once. He said you kind of have an engineering mind. Mm. So, and the funny thing is, when I started learning how to fly, mm -hmm. part of learning is you have to really understand the aircraft and how it's put together when you're doing your pre-flight. Right, of course. So you got to understand these nuts and bolts and screws yeah. and things. Literally, literally. But, okay, so you said something literally. so cool when you were flying. So for those of you that don't know, Julie is also a pilot. Yeah. How that's impressive. That's a little sexy. I, I showed you mine. That's like a woman, like a woman drummer, a woman pilot. No, is, it's cool. It's very cool. Yeah, I showed yeah. you my pilot license. I did. Really I saw it. I need yeah. a proof. I was like, "Are you sure? Let me see your license." And you showed it to yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. So what what does that entail? Because we talked also about like uh, with everything else I'm doing, which you know I I do so many things. I was like, maybe I should become a pilot. <laughs> well, actually, you have aptitude. I do. Yes, you have yes. aptitude. I don't know if Cameron mentioned that to you. Cameron, our instructor that you flew with yeah. and you came out a few weeks ago, he said she's got aptitude. And Chris mm -hmm. said that too when you were on the simulator. Well, so. if Chris said it, then it must be. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and no, flying gliders is a, is a little different than flying airplanes. Mm -hmm. There's no engine. We're up at higher altitudes. And, you know, you got to, it's, it's, it, it takes something. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's a little scary, it's I have a, to say. It, yes, when you're first learning. When you're first learning. When you're first yeah. learning. I was terrified in the mm -hmm. beginning. I mean, I didn't want to do it. The tow pilot said to me, Julie, open your eyes. You, you had know, your eyes closed? Well, I was with Chris and oh. other people. I mean, in the beginning, when I first yeah. started it, I was very scared oh, okay. of it. Um, but I recognized how much fun mm -hmm. Chris was having and mm -hmm. all the other guys that are there working. There's a big community of people that we work with. Yeah. It takes a lot, it takes a lot of a lot of different minds mm -hmm. to create what we do and all the programs that we offer. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So, but I, saw, I saw how much fun they were having, and I was like, I want that. That excited you, yeah. I want to do what so they're So you doing. talked about the programs that you have. So you have some really great programs. So you have programs for veterans. You have programs, you have a STEM program for youth, which, of course, that excites me the most because yeah. I have two daughters, daughters the teenagers. teenagers. And when you said that you actually bring the gliders to the high school and you allow the kids to yeah. look at it, and like, tell me about who came up with that idea because I think that's incredible. And what are the benefits of doing that? Sure. So the Southern California Soaring Academy, and we're also referred to as the Soaring Academy, mm -hmm. we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we got to that point, but that's why we have these missions. So... Um, We've been doing this since 2011. We started out as a, you know, just a for-profit business, and Chris and the original board of directors that was on before I came on board in 2010 um, decided they wanted to do something different with this. And so the idea was born, and we started with just the veteran program. Mm. So once a month since 2011, we get veterans from all the VA hospitals and um, awesome. national organizations, and we give them a therapeutic day. That's and so beautiful. They love it. So oh, 2,000 and counting at this point. Wow. Veterans, yeah. And it's mostly people with brain injuries, PTSD, PTSD people yeah. that are people that are veterans that are struggling in some way. Mm. And so what the glider does is it offers camaraderie that day. It's all volunteer based at mm. our organization. So it takes about 25 people on our end, mm -hmm. including all the pilots and everything to orchestrate this day. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting day. Yeah. Um, there's a lot going on, yeah. Sure. But they, oh, they, they love it. They love it. I'm they, sure. Oh. It's the, I, you guys are changing lives. That's what's they happening. Love. Thank you. So then, the STEM program with the youth. Tell me about that. So the STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. Mm -hmm. So our goal with that is to inspire learning mm. in kids in the junior high age and high school, but we mostly focus in junior high, who are dealing with boring math and science <laughs> topic. Well, let's be honest. It's boring. For most people. For sure. And even in school, and, yeah. and, and again, let's be honest, how it's taught, right? Unless you're born to be a scientist, right. it doesn't really it doesn't really enthuse the average yeah. student. I don't know one kid that says, I love math. My right? kids surely don't. Right? And yeah. science, and some and of the science. science. Yeah. So what we do is it's we bring the glider to, well, it starts with a teacher, mm -hmm. really. So we offer opportunities to collaborate. We bring the gliders mm -hmm. to the school campuses and we show these kids up close and personal yeah. 
how it works in real life, what they're learning, right. algebra, all these different things. Um, and so there's education to it, yeah, but I want to know the absolutely. fun stuff. Like, what is the reaction when that thing comes in and you put it together it's and they funny. come out to look at it? Like, it's, give me some of the, the things that kids say. Well, they want to know, first of all, how we landed it there. How did you land it there? Yeah, they all want to know how we landed it there. <laughs> oh, great. parents, you know who are the biggest who? supporters are of that? Dads. The dads. With their, they drive up with their coffee, yes. their to go coffee, and they stop their cars and they get out and they come over and they're like, hey, um, <laughs> what is going on here? Like, what is yeah. that? I've, or they'll say to us, I've always wanted to do that. Right. Like, I've been thinking about well, this blame, my whole listen, life. Blame that on Tom Cruise. Blame that yeah. on Tom oh, Cruise oh, and right. Top Gun, right? Every man's dream. Yes. Yeah. It's so, they, so the kids, when they come out, they're like excited and they're like, oh my gosh. Now, do they, yeah. get, they don't get to fly it though, right? It's yes. Just, no. So they, stop it. No, that they day fly. they get to fly? No. So it's a, it's a process. It's okay. about a six-week okay. process. They, we teach the teachers how to fly. Oh, wow. The teachers come out. They have professional development. So they fun. learn. They go back into the classroom. Mm -hmm. We go into the classroom. We provide speakers. We go in and speak. We... We work with them on whatever their whatever curriculum there is, and it so depends cool. on the principal of the school as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So after the day at the campus where they're hands on at the glider, they go they rotate around the glider with our instructors. Mm -hmm. So these are people. For example, these kids are learning from one of our instructors is a retired 747 you were, airline you captain. You were telling me about him, Gary. And so these kids are learning about the atmosphere mm -hmm. and how all the instruments work from this 747 airline captain. Let me give you an, a little side thing that happened. We had an event about a month ago at a school, and Gary is, I don't know, he's about five foot six. Mm -hmm. And these young, these kids were there, and they, they were short, and they said, I want to be a pilot, but I'm told that I'm, I'll never be tall enough. And he said, I was told by a high school counselor, you'll never fly the big stuff. Unbelievable. Because you're too short. And he said, I just didn't believe it. The I didn't power listen. Of words. Right? Power he of words. And he yeah. said, you know, she didn't know really what she was talking about, but he told these kids, don't ever give up on your dreams. Mm. If you want to do it, it'll happen. We had a rocket scientist there last month, an actual rocket scientist. And, so and we cool. say to them, have you ever <laughs> met a rocket scientist? Well, you know what's so funny is because a lot of people say that's not rocket science. Right. You know what I mean? And yes. It, but you actually, actually had a rocket scientist. We actually scientist. know rocket scientists. <laughs> Which I love. It's true, yeah. <laughs> that's just the school part at yeah. the campus. Then they come out as a group and fly together, Amazing. we're shut down to the public, and we have all of our instructors on deck. You know, we have six, seven gliders going, mm -hmm. you know, three tow planes going. It's a lot of crew, it's a lot of volunteer pilots, and we get these kids up in the air together. Listen. I, for the first time in the air for some of them, never no, been I'm in not, an airplane. I think that's incredible, and speaking of being in the airplane, I had a chance to go up in yeah. the air. I was wondering when you're going to get to that yes, part. Yes, I'm so excited because I, you know, Ryan and I, Ryan who works with us, I said we're we're taking a little road trip. I didn't really tell him what we were doing, and I've been like being, I've been very secretive on Instagram about it. And I said, I asked you, can I do it? And you said, yeah, we'll figure it out logistically. And I, we drove out there, and it was an incredible experience. So we're going to take a look right now. Oh, good. We are on our way to an undisclosed location. I'm with my camera guy, Ryan. Whoop, whoop. Ryan doesn't even know. Well, now you know because you saw the signs. Uh, yeah, I can see it from here too. <laughs> oh my we God, just arrived. <laughs> my girl Julie and uh, the adventure is because of Julie. What's up? Hi Jay, what's up Chris? How are you? Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Is this the one? Oh, it's so pretty. So he'll sit back here. So, am I crazy? <laughs> Tell my kids I love them. <laughs> nice to meet you. You better keep me safe. I will. I this will. Is I my, this is my pilot. I'm the. Am I the co-pilot or are you the co-pilot? I'm, I'm pilot co-pilot. I am kind of piloting it with you, right? So. Oh my God. <laughs> so we did the simulator. Now we're gonna do the real thing. I'm ready. I'm not even scared. I don't even have, I'm not nervous at all. Zero. I'm not even joking. Because this guy knows what he's doing. So we got this. Wait, wait, wait. That's fine. And we're just going to 
to see how this works with your height and okay. everything. You may have to adjust this. So they call me Maverica. Are you ready? Let's do this. Super excited. This is gonna be like the best finale show ever. <laughs> ah! Here we go. Wow. Wow. That is beautiful. What are we doing, Cameron? So we're going to do a wing over. Uh, it's a little bit like a, uh, uh, almost like an aerobatic maneuver, but it's not aerobatic. We go up and over a little bit. Cameron, we did it. Very coordinated. I, did speed. you see that landing I did? Was that, yes. Aren't I amazing? That amazing. was wow, right? Cameron. You didn't even need to be in the airplane. No, I, I, had I had to hold my on. hands off the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that's not true. What an experience I had. I was nervous. I have to say. Because once, you know, the, the, as you guys saw, you know, the, the airplane tows you up. And then the scary part was me thinking in my mind, he's going to release us at some point. He's going to release us. And how are we protected? You know, and my whole mind was going, as soon as he released us, it was like a, a little bit of a jolt, right? Yeah. The, which made me a little bit nervous at first because I'd never done it before. And then we just glided in the air. We were how were we like eight thousand feet in the air? You were a little higher than we were that. We're pretty high. We're like almost ten thousand. Yeah, I think. you were. You were. Yeah. You were a little bit higher. That he had to tow high that day. Oh, because, because the, of the lift wind. was a little bit lighter. The okay. way the conditions were that day. No, okay. you were pretty. high. It was a perfect day. Too. I think you were up at about ten. Yeah. yeah. It was like God knew I was going up there, and He's like, "It's oh. going to be totally clear." The sky. Were was you clear. a little? Were you scared up there? Well, you know, the, when He first released me, I, I did get a little bit nervous yeah, because which you know I, I didn't feel safe in that moment. But then once in, who was, who was the guy that was following? Cameron. Amazing, first of all. Cameron's awesome. Because he kept going, are you okay? Oh, are you I okay? was checking in he with you. He was so sweet. I was like, yes, thank you for checking in. And then he said, are you ready to fly yourself? And I said, let's do it. And he let go and I started flying it on my own. And I didn't do it for long because I, I was a little bit nervous, but I did it and it felt so good flying on my own. Oh, wow. And then towards the end, you know, he said, do you want to land it? I said, no, you can land it. <laughs> I'm good. You he said it. he flew it all the way back to the I airport. I did. I did. And he, well, what was that feeling though? It was incredible. I, I, it's, it, listen, bucket list check. You know what I mean? So I was. Thank you for allowing me to have that oh, experience. Yeah. So how can people also experience that? They could just come out and take a lesson. We, mm. a lot of our students come out because somebody gave them a gift of a ride. Okay. They take a ride and they're like, could I actually do this? Like learn to do yeah. this? And they do. And you have a so, beautiful simulator right there that so they can do that first. we have a simulator. They can try it if they want to, mm -hmm. but they can take a ride. You can go with two passengers together, a single passenger, oh, or you wow. can come out and take an introductory lesson mm -hmm. and just get started. And when they do it, they do it for the same reason. And it's why it helps the veterans right. and the kids. It's it, very peaceful. It's very peaceful, yeah. but it's challenging. Challenging. Mm. It engages every aspect of your nervous system, yeah. your vision, your hearing, your 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 touch, your, your touch yeah. and you 
it's seat of the pants flying mm -hmm. because there's no engine to get you through. You got that one shot yeah. to make that landing, yeah. right? And the feeling of going solo and doing that on your own incredible, is sure. incredible, yeah. empowering. I, I want to say like the time that I was up there, it was for me, it was like very, like extremely peaceful, but also I, it's, it's a good time to think. Mm -hmm ideas, just different That's, things. Well, you yeah. got like the inspiration yeah, comes in. because it's quiet, you know, because there's no engine. And you're elevated. And you're elevated and you get to see everything, you know, below you and it's just you and one other person. And when he was, did, wasn't saying anything to me, it was just me. Mm -hmm. the, the word I would use to say about flying is, and learning to fly, especially gliders, because mm -hmm. you're dealing with mother nature right. and it is deeply satisfying. Yeah, that's a good word. I at, like a, that. At, a, at a core level. At the core, yeah. Oh, yes. Let me ask you something. If you weren't doing what you're doing right now, what would you be doing? Oh, I'd be in a girl band. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? I totally did not think you were going to say oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, what yeah. instrument would you be playing? Oh, no, I'd be the singer. Yeah. But I don't sing. So, <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah, I mean, if, if I. I don't play, wow. it. I mean, I used to play piano when yeah. I was a kid. Yeah. Well, let me but tell you, I was in a girl band. I know. And it is I know. the You're like most my incredible idol. experience. No, oh, it is the no. most incredible. So I love that you said that. <laughs> For real. I love it. Listen, we're going to, we're. I'll teach you how to sing. Goals. <laughs> Go, exactly. Goals, right? What is your favorite Amazon product that you just purchased recently? Nothing really exciting. Really? No, like beet, okay. beet powder. Yeah. You know, healthy, <laughs> honestly, healthy stuff. We eat healthy. Yeah. We were in the restaurant That's business, why you look so, so good. Well, thank you. No, I love it. So I love what you do. I think it's incredible. And I, I want everyone to experience what I experienced. Oh, can I say Academy. one more thing? Yes. yes. Chris and I talk all, Chris is my husband, right? Yes. So we talk all the time. We have the best job in the world. Oh. We facilitate fun and joy for you people. You do. We facilitate fun. You know fun. what? What Amelia would say is you're living someone else's dream. Everyone is living someone else's Interesting. dream. Interesting. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Everyone is living someone else's dream. Can you imagine all the people that would love oh. to be facilitating the fun that yes. you facilitate? Oh, but we are so appreciative of it. Like we are yeah, aware. I can tell. In the moment, like yeah. we know. We the day we landed there, we were like, ooh, pinch us. Mm. You know. But we're gonna do one more thing before we wind down okay. here. So this is my little book of inspiration. Oh. I love this little book. And it's all one-liners that are inspiring. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the pages. Okay. And you're going to tell me when to stop. Okay. And that's going to be for you. Okay. Ready? And then I do one for you? Sure. I haven't okay. done that, but sure. <laughs> why not? I like to change things up. Thank you. Stop. Tough times never last, but tough people do. Oh, that's perfect. Tell me about that. Oh, well, that's the story of our life. <laughs> It's true. It's I the story it. of our life. Yeah. Tough times never last. Yeah. That's the thing we've learned in our business. And I've learned and I've learned this from Chris and from being around aviation. Stuff happens and sometimes bad really bad, the worst that you could imagine might mm. happen. And he says, it's part of it. I love that. It's just part of it. Yeah. And you know what? Well, and you move off of it. You move, you move off. off of it yeah. kind of quickly. You don't ignore it. You don't brush it under the rug. Yeah. But you move off of it because if you stay in it too long, you're not solving problems yeah. because you're in a different mindset. And I feel like even in those tough times, like the other side of that ends up being more beautiful. It does. I don't know how that happens, but I feel like in my life, all my toughest times, something on the other side of that ended up being incredible. No, it's true. So I'm going to let you do it for me oh, now. Oh, yes. Because nobody's ever asked me. You might have to. Well, so I think thank I you. You just this. flip it and I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. And then we'll go from there. Okay, ready? Yep. Stop. Okay, so which side? You decide. You can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. I don't know if you know this about me. My whole, even the name of my book is People Fail in the Deep End. Oh, that's right. That's the name of my book, my new book. I haven't oh, no, said but that I've out heard, loud. It's the no, first time I'm saying the heard title. You, no, but I've heard you. I didn't know the title, yeah. but I've heard you say that's that. That's my saying. People fail in the deep end. I can't believe... Jamie. <laughs> okay, wow. you should frame this. I'm going to frame that. Okay. I'm, I'm definitely well, I'm going to... I'm glad we played the game. That was... I, I have chills all over my body. Oh. I have your chills right now. <laughs> oh, good. I passed them on. <laughs> you passed them on, exactly. So tell everybody, this is your camera, tell everybody how they can find you and okay. how they can know more about Soaring Academy. Okay, so the best way is go to our website, uh, socalsoaringacademy.org, 
And uh, we're located out in the high desert of Los Angeles, which is where all the aerospace action is happening. We're out near Edwards Air Force Base and NASA, and um, where the sound barrier was broken by Chuck Yeager. I mean, that's where we are. It's a very inspiring wow. place, actually. It's the high desert. And it's anyone very, can come. And anyone can all come. All ages. Yeah, we're open. And here's the thing about um, the Soaring Academy. We have year-round lift. Lift is oh, the rising wow. air. We didn't even talk about that, but yeah. um, it's the rising air that we use to fly. Mm. Um, so that you don't, different places around the world don't have that. It's the it's the geographic location that offers that yeah. to us. So that. so we have year-round soaring. I love so, that, and it's so fun, you guys. I promise you, I'm not making this up. It was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. It's it's a check off on my bucket list because I never even imagined doing something like that, and I'll never forget that um, experience. So it was I want to thank no, you. You're thank you, Chris. You're thank you, Seth. Yeah, and what an experience, and Aww. thank you. And oh, and, and yes. they can find us on uh, Instagram, TikTok, Soaring Academy. Soaring Academy. We're on all those social And we'll platforms. have it on the bottom. People okay. will be able to see it. And so I thank you for coming. Oh, no, thank you for letting us talk about it. Yeah, so. absolutely. And Thanks. I hope many people will go and, and experience such an incredible thing in life. And I just want to thank you for being with us. And thank you, Amazon Live and Instagram Live and TikTok Live for being with us today. <laughs> And uh, make sure that you follow me on Instagram at Sally Cologne, the number one. YouTube, you can subscribe at Sally Cologne, the number one. And if you want to follow me on Clubhouse, it's Sally Cologne. And TikTok, I'm Cool Mom Sally, which my kids gave me that. So thank you again for being with us. Love you all. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Yay. <laughs> that was fun. We have a live audience. I love it. <laughs> that was fun.